All right, it's going on a lot. I'll try to keep this video short. Um, first off, you're preaching to the choir. I custom build my rigs. So I like to, um, take me as a car enthusiast kind of guy. You want to know that you have that 350 V8 and that custom build chassis. I'm that kind of guy. I want to know that my 2.8 Tricor AMD is what I paid for. I want to know that my 750 watt power supply is there. I want to know that my Crossfire 3850s, I want to know what kind of RAM they're running. I want to know, you know, the amount of RAM they're running. I want to know that that 8 gigs of RAM that I have in there is actually getting used. I want to know what kind of DDR RAM that is. I want to know my front front uh, bus speed. That's me. Most consumers aren't going to know that gibberish that I just talked about. They might know what a CD-ROM is or a DVE. They might know what a hard drive is, but that's about as far as they're going to go. Unfortunately, people who buy computers, generically speaking, are morons. 90% don't know anything about computers and shouldn't have computers in my honest assessment. Now, as far as OS 10 free, the concept, interesting, it's just not going to happen. The reason it's not going to happen for is one particular reason. One reason, Steve Jobs. And the other reason, it's Apple. Steve Jobs at Apple sells one thing. Apple sells an experience. So the best kind of experience you can get is buying Apple hardware and Apple products. It's all about integration and oh god, does Apple sell an experience for integration. You turn it on, it works, supposedly. Now, you can troll or visit any forum, you're going to find people who have had issues with any computer. But at the end of the day, it's all about the customer satisfaction. And quite frankly, Apple has the higher than what was it? Apple had 80% customer satisfaction as far as actually when they people bought the hardware that they actually liked using it. The only other company that was close was a Gateway with 86%. Personally, I say it's more about the integration of things than anything else. Now, as far as people saying Apple is worse than Microsoft. Uh, yes and no. Um, there are certain things Apple has done that I don't agree with. The whole, um, there was a topic not that long ago about how to, you know, there's just a discussion thread about how to uh, change something in the internals of an iPod, I believe. And Apple sent a DMCA notice to them telling them to take it down. It was just a discussion. It wasn't actually telling you how to do it. You know, it wasn't telling you to go and do it. And you know, Apple sent a DMC, uh, DMCA notice to them. That thing was a blue wiki. And it's like, you know, come on. But me being an open source guy, you know, I believe open source breeds competition, breeds innovation. And innovation breeds competition. More competition, the better for the consumer. At the end of the day. So, you know, Apple contributes to OpenAO or Open Audio Libre, or library. Um, last they checked, I have not checked Darwin in a while. Um, the free implementation of the mock kernel. Yeah, Apple has contributed back to the open source community. Now, granted, Microsoft has changed recently. I'm not going to debate that point. Um, Sam Ramsey is a, you know, I've seen some of his uh, work. He legitimately believes there are certain things Microsoft can do better. Um, you know, things like working with the Sam of uh, people. It's, 
it's not so much that they're evil, it's not so much about market share. It's more about how can you take a company seriously when past business practices and past statements have made them different from what they are trying to become now. A more transparent company. It's not going to be easy. Especially when you have people like Monkey Dance Boy, Steve Ballmer, running around back in, what, 2002, 2003, saying, oh, Lennox is a cancer, the GPL is going to kill us all, or whatever. Um, you know, I'm not going to say Microsoft hasn't contributed anything to computing. They have one of the more open platforms than anybody as far as the EPIs and all this other stuff. You know, DirectX, you know, the documentation for their OS is fairly substantial. I don't want to deny that. Yeah, open is a relative term. So, you know, that's my take on Microsoft. You know, they're not evil, it's past business practices. You know, maybe you should uh, talk to Split Paw. Ask him about uh, one of the little visits Bill Gates, he knows about from Bill Gates. Tell him Dark One sent him. And... <laughs> it's either it micro Bill Gates' mentality is buy it or bury it. And by burying it, it becomes competition. Unfortunately, the competition gets buried usually because of the way Microsoft has done it. My problem with Microsoft is not on a software level. I could debate how good it, their coding is. The fact of the matter is a lot of the issues with the OS are from the end user side of things. Yeah. Oh, I want that free screensaver or whatever. That's an end user issue, not so much the OS. If you know what you're doing, you can keep a fairly stable Windows system. Now, like I said, you can debate Microsoft's past and their present. The fact of the matter is, everyone uses it, but my gripe has always been the symbiotic relationship, and not the symbiotic good way kind of relationship between OEMs, like Dell, like HP, like Gateway, of standardizing around Microsoft. Because here's my thing. Now they're not gonna. Go, Microsoft's not gonna go away anytime soon. But something can and will happen in any market that the most dominant company will go the way of the Dota. Just look at IBM. They were computing. They were computers. That IBM was nothing but. That's what IBM was. Now, when people think computers, they think of a whole bunch of OEMs, but they think computing is the operating system. So what, my question is, what's going to happen if Microsoft screws up more, screws up in another way, or something happens? Yeah, it's a screwed up world, and stuff happens. There's going to be no other vendor to turn to for an operating system. You're gonna have Apple. If the OEMs weren't embracing Linux or BSD or any of these other homebrew, as you would call them, operating systems or open source operating systems, um, it's gonna be a bad day for the computer industry.